The Olden World, written by Tsar Yoshi. Chapter 254 Light Trick With a ripple of black, the lay reached the top of the elevator shaft. Someone pulsed a flash club from behind the open shaft door, and the ruined elevator carriage had been jammed sideways such that she would have to shadow sneak to fit past it and then immediately be revealed. Unfortunately for whoever was waiting at the top, Valet didn't take kindly to being told she had to do things. Coming out of the shadows and clinging to the wall just below the carriage, she wedged her back into a crevice, steadied herself, and kicked the carriage bottom so hard that she finished what the artillery had started, snapping it clean off and sending the metal disc sailing into the room as a lead-off attack. The Pegasus with a flash club dodged out of the way, but was unable to stop her as she followed it, getting a fern hoofing in front of the elevator and taking quick stock of her surroundings. Three hostile Pegasi, two mares and one stallion, two dozen unconscious or incapacitated Pegasi that looked like real defense force ponies, and fought like it too if they had been bested by free. Signs of a fight everywhere, ranging from scattered and broken weapons to a smashed display on one wall. Valet grinned. Ooh, looks like someone's party got crashed. Did the three of you do this? Looking slightly harried, one mare stepped forward, sweeping a wing back. They were the ones who tried to stop us. Sorry, but business is business, and our business is you. We'd appreciate it very much if you surrendered, because the longer this goes on, the more likely it is to get bloody. Or you could leave me alone, Valet offered. Or I could bust you all up. Her flank was beginning to tingle. Either they were about to charge, or the elevator shaft wasn't as blocked as she thought it was. Whichever was the case, stalling wouldn't be in her best interest. The Pegasi accepted her challenge as one, grabbing hardened defense for spears from the defeated party and dropping into formation. Oh, boy! Valet rolled her eyes as they approached, trying not to show her nerves. Would she be fine? Probably. The mugs she was up against were clearly elite and far more than she was used to dealing with, but they were still mugs, and she was still her. Her friends, though? She saw no signs of them, so that could be an issue. She fell into a defensive stance, preparing to block an incoming swing. The attacking mare anticipated her block, but wasn't quite fast enough to play around Valet's reflexes as she shot a hoof at the thrust, wrapping around the weapon and catching it in a lock. The stallion, however, was, and as Valet twisted herself around a spear to deliver a kick to its owner's head, he stabbed straight at where she was going to be. Only the nimblest of twirls allowed Valet to get below the caught spear, kicking off it into the ground like a lever, uppercutting its owner with a haft and dodging into the stallion's own shadow with one movement. The other mare gave her less than a second before having her flash club primed, hitting the metal plated ground with a blast of light. Instead of trying to gain momentum coming out of the shadows, Valet flipped away, keeping her guard up. Three stabbers that close together needed to be separated. Fighting all three at once would inevitably give one an opening to stab her while she dealt with the others. All three Pegasi anticipated her erupting from beneath them with an attack and guarded downward. Before she could take advantage of their split-second distraction, four Pegasi streaked up from the elevator shaft and she had to roll out of the way to avoid being immediately flattened. So much for her grenade holding him off. With a single glance, they formed into a team and Valet had suddenly gone from an armed three versus one to an armed seven versus one, both in close quarters. Both were odds that needed evening. She backed up until she felt her hoof pump against a defeated defense force Pegasus. Did he still have a spear? Of course he did. Good for him. She grabbed it with a good wing, aimed, grinned as the Pegasi realized if they failed to dodge, that could be a lot more lethal than a simple kick or headbutt, and jammed it into the room's overhead lighting mechanism, causing it to explode with a hiss of magic and sparks. Red light filtered into the room from its smoke-stained window to the core, dimly bathing the ceiling and completely shadowing the floor. The Pegasi grinned. They had their flash clubs. Valet grinned harder. They'd be forced to use them to stop her from escaping, but lacking her borderline pre-science, they'd have no way to keep from blinding each other with the flashes. So long as she kept them going, they wouldn't be able to see her even when she wasn't sneaking. She ducked and a mark tingled. Flash! She surfaced just in time, squinting to protect her eyes as five out of the seven Pegasi tried to flush her out at once, the combined intensities of their strobe forcing most of them to rub frantically at their eyes and even earning a yelp. She could have hurled a spear then and there and stood a good chance of impaling one, but instead she flung it to the side, clattering, and ducked again. At least one of the Pegasi had caught on and screwed his eyes shut, relying on hearing and their numbers had managed to fight, but that meant he fell for the decoy, chucking his stolen spear at the noise and blasting away blindly with the flash club. 
He was at the wrong angle to illuminate it, though, and the dizzy that her Pegasus eye had just as much luck as the previous time as she chaotically ducked and resurfaced, never quite being submerged when the shadow was parted. Sensing they were sufficiently thrown off, she made a break for the door and smacked into three more Pegasus mirrors who were freshly arriving. Gasping, they grasped the situation far faster than Valeria was hoping, using their flash clubs as clubs once again and trying desperately to block her way with a precision rain of blows. Nope, nope, and nope! Time slowed by her cutie mark as she pressed into their attack. Valet moved her four hooves and spare wing like lightning, cashing all three clubs at once. Wrenching herself in a circle, she yanked the three mares together so that they tripped on each other, falling into a pile. She didn't bother kicking them out of the entrance, vaulting over the heap and hoping it would slow the others down. There was ten hostile ninja tier ponies in one room, and she was far more exhausted thanks to climbing the core than she had been for her previous battle. Not even stopping to taunt her wave, Valet cantered down the tunnel, hoping to find a place where she could ditch the Pegasi for good. End of chapter 254